Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I hope you all are happy and healthy. So my dear students, today we will learn about the sun, the moon, light and shadows. See, day and night. You can see the picture of day. It's a sun. There is a sun. Yes. And in the picture of night, there is a moon with stars. Let's learn about the day and night, sun and moon, light and shadows. See, you can see the picture of sun. Yes, sun is in yellow color. The shape of sun is round like a ball. See the picture of moon. Moon is in white color. The shape of moon is round like a ball. Okay. Now let's learn about the light. We get light from the sun during the day. As you can see in the picture, this picture is for sun. Sun gives us light during the day. The sun is much bigger than the earth. Okay. The sun is much bigger than the earth. It, it looks small because it is very far from us. It looks small because it is very far from us. See, the sun gives us heat and light. The sun gives us heat and light. Light helps us to see the things around us. Light helps us to see things around us. You can see the point number three. The heat of the sun makes the days bright and warm. This, the heat of the sun makes the days bright and warm. It is dark and cool at night because there is no sun during the night. Light is because of sun. Sun gives us light. My dear students, we can see objects only when there is light. Since there is sunlight during the day, we see things clearly. How are we able to see things at night? We can see a little in the light of the moon. We can use the torch, bulb, Okay, to see the things at night, day and night. When the sun rises, it is day. So, sunrise from the east. When the sun sets, it is night. Means sunset in the west. So, the earth is spins like a top. This moment is called rotation. So, my dear students, rotation of the earth causes day and night. Okay? Listen carefully. The rotation of the earth causes day and night. The part of the earth that faces the sun has day. And on the other hand, the part has a night. Okay? See, shadows. What are shadows? The dark patch of that we can see on the wall is shadow. As you can see in this, the torch is the source of light. Okay, say, so here in front of a wall, we put the object means we put this flower pot. And here in this picture, flower pot is the object. And 
the light is passed from the torch means this torch is the source of light and when when this bulb when this torch passing the light means falling the light on the flower pot on the on this flower pot the dark patch that is visible on the wall that dark patch is the shadow okay so the shadow is always dark see the dark patch that can be seen on the wall is shadow a shadow is always dark a shadow is formed when an object does not let light pass through it okay so when a shadow is formed when an object does not let light pass through it so means you can see you can do this experiment you can put anything any object in front of wall and you can um, give the light on that object you will get a dark patch on the back side of the that object and you will get the dark patch on the wall okay so you can do this experiment by yourself so a shadow has different size at different times of the day shadows are longer in the morning or evening they are shorter in the afternoon let's see the length of the direction the length and directions of a shadow see a shadow keeps changing its size and directions a shadow is the longest in the morning and evening a shadow is shortest at noon okay let's see how the shadow of an object is formed on the opposite side of light morning this picture is in the morning means this picture the sun is the boy is, is standing in front of sun and the, the sun the shadow is visible at the back side let's see in the morning shadow is long the sun is behind him and the shadow is in the front of him okay. see you can see this shadow the shadow is at noon so at the noon shadow is a small dark patch under his feet the sun is right above him and the shadow is beneath him so at noon the the shadow is small under his feet okay now you can see the shadow in the evening so the shadow is long again the sun is behind him you can see in the evening shadow is long again the sun is behind him and the shadow is in the front of him okay so you can see and you can do in this experiment by yourself okay so i have i will give you one activity so you have to do this activity you can go to your playground or you can go to your outside area of the home and stand with you back to the sun you will see your shadow on the ground in the front of you take a few step forward and backward does your shadow move with you okay so this activity you have to do by yourself and you have to do this okay so you will understand what actually shadow is okay so my dear students we are, this is all about the sun the moon light and shadow so keep learning keep practicing jazakallah khair allah hafiz